You can have the marriage of your dreams. Yes, you can grow in your intimacy with your spouse. I'm Dr. Elias Moitinho. And I'm Dr. Denise Moitinho. We are the authors of the book, The Dream Home, How to Create an Intimate Christian Marriage. We wrote this book to help people like you. You care about your marriage and you want to experience the joy, fulfillment, and excitement of an intimate, lasting marriage. In the Dream Home book, we use the metaphor of a house to help you explore the various areas of your marriage and then we provide tips and relationship skills to help you grow in your marriage. So we use the house hunting metaphor to discuss the process that you and your spouse go through as you come together to develop a shared vision for your marriage. We also explore the concept of the location of the house. Yes, location is as important as the house itself yes. because location provides stability to you and to your family. In the book, we talk about the metaphor of location representing your location in relationship to God and to your spouse. And we talk about the curb appeal. And we use the curb appeal as a metaphor to discuss the couple's reputation in their family, with their friends, and in their community. Then in the second part of the book, we do a walkthrough. We discuss specific aspects of the marriage in each room. So we open the door and we enter in the living room where we discuss communication and you know, it's all about effective communication then we move into the kitchen and it is related to feeding our body mind and soul and our relationships as yes. well the office room represents management of finances and how we are on the same page about budgeting and, and how we are spending our money we move into the laundry room and it's exciting because now we are talking about cleaning up conflict. And again, that's not only the only rooms we are going to, we are also moving into the closet where it's all about spiritual growth, growing together as a couple in mm -hmm. our relationship to God. And the guest room is about hospitality. How hospitable are we as a couple? And hospitality also helps create intimacy. And then we have the kids' room that is about parenting. That's right. And there are other rooms, but you have to get the book and you read them now. The book will focus on the master bedroom representing intimacy. And we talk about multidimensional intimacy. It's emotional, intellectual, physical, and spiritual. Here's a powerful principle that we have in the book. Every room of the home influences the bedroom. Yes, this is a powerful counseling principle and it means that every area of the relationship influences the other. So what happens in every room of the home influences the master bedroom. For example, the living room is communication. Mm -hmm. If a couple has poor communication and they are disconnected emotionally, Obviously, it's going to affect their physical intimacy. We believe you will love reading this book. Yes, we believe you will enjoy the book. 